What up guys, Shari Clark here. Um, this is part two on how to make a cruiser. Um, and it's the 20th of January and I now haven't finished this off. And uh, I thought it would be a good time to do it, so yeah. Um, first of all, stuff that I forgot to mention in the last episode or series, whatever. The last, in part one is what inspired me to make uh, decide to actually make a um a cruiser um actually it was mike schneider so like this guy i read the magazine the issue um yeah I, I read issue four and like obviously in the front cover and a couple of other pictures he's got um that same um old school so uh and also I've seen many of his videos it's called uh, one video is called um no one gets out alive uh it's a really good video and that's actually what it says on the graphic of his old school no one gets out alive it says picture of this monster so i think that was quite cool um yeah so this is part two and that's what inspired me to make one and actually yeah so so you've got your unwanted deck here with the, with the shape that you like and the obviously the unwanted deck but so you like the shape and it's all that and probably messed up graphic and all that okay um there's two ways you can put the graphic on you kind of guess uh you can actually print out a graphic uh put some glue on it i use um power print so it's like a very uh strong print stick um, and then I put it on that way, and then I uh, I get a, a file, and I file it around, and then that's basically how I put the uh, that graphic on, and then I lacquer it. Um, it's only going to be in three parts because if I did it that way, because I'm using a sticker, because it would be only um, if I used a graphic that I made, then it would take four parts which would be the actual shaping the deck, then putting the graphic on the deck, and part three would be lacquering the deck. And then part four would be uh, mounting it up all up. So this is a good part two, and this is actually putting the graphic on. And because it's a sticker, it's all vinyl. You don't, not vinyl, but um, it's all smooth and shiny. You don't need to lacquer it. So it's only going to be a three part video. Um, because my printer's not working, I can't do any, uh, make my own graphics, but for those of you who are looking forward for one of my own graphics, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. So basically you're going to get a, a graphic of the picture you want. This is just a Berlin with graffiti. Um, I've actually seen Timo do this. It's in the ma in this issue of the magazine. Let me just try and find it. Here it is. It's... Uh, page at 37 where it's the second page of the of Berlin Wood so here's like it tells you all about Berlin Wood and it says like all the old stuff and then it goes into the new decks and into like laser split plies and then at the top here you can see he's actually using a deck with that sticker on here I won't be able to do that because the magazine is too big. But if you have the issue four, then you'll be able to see it yourself. So, but it is this sticker. So yeah. Um, I'm just gonna peel it off and put it on. So obviously this is a nose. And where the lettering finishes up, right at the end, that's where the nose will be. So it's not where the lettering begins. It's where it finishes. Is the tail? Is the where it begins is the tail, where it ends is the nose, not uh, the other way around. So, try and get this pretty lined up. Let's try and, it's best if you get it up to a light, and actually you can, you can see the graphic through, and you can actually on the way you like. Okay, um, 
this is going to be quite tricky. Nope. Ugh, it's going to be quite hard. I'm sorry if I don't need to do this on camera, guys, but I'll show you how when it's done. No. You know, the whole burn, the whole, I want the whole burning wood in there. So. Okay, so I've stuck it on, and then what you want to do is just get right in the where the curves are, the dips, the concave, get right in there. And then what you're going to need to do is sort of put it up against your thing like this, and your t-shirt, just do that. So you get the shape of the, the deck, and the um, way you want it, so... Uh, then when it's all like that, you get your. Sorry, this is all rushed, guys, but um, try and keep up. You get you if a file or uh, probably a nail file would work, but I I recommend a file what I got from B and Q. So they're just tiny little files. You can use a big one, but for a little job like this, I recommend small ones. Because the big ones can be a bit, a little bit too, too. Um, uh, th these are just perfect. The, these are nice and fine. And just, they can be a bit too, uh, too rough. Are the big ones? So I recommend some other small ones. And then just like do it more downwards. And just yeah. It's basically like putting grip tape on a fingerboard, so like on the graphic instead. Finally, a little bit, it's a bit hard to do. Okay, let's just carry on. And try to do it right really carefully just so the graphic doesn't rip. Right, this one's getting a bit so I'm just gonna pull out a different one. It's quite a thick stick of this. Just try not to rip it. You just wanna sand through it nice and neatly. Well, I didn't realise it was going to look this good, to be honest. So. Chuffed as chops. Whew. Sorry if that took a bit long, guys, but when you do it like this, when you, it needs time to do it. But yeah, burn in wood. That looks quite nice, actually. I'm quite pleased with that. So yeah, there's that.
And you can see it says Berlin wood. So Berlin wood on there, so I'm quite chuffed as, with that. Then you might just want to get like a screwdriver like this and just like um I recommend getting quite a small one first. Like a small one so it goes through the holes. And just twirl it rather than just pushing it through, just twirl it. Like that. So it just goes through. Mm -hmm. And when you can see it push through this way. And then just like that. Perfect. And then you can sort of just like guess where the other holes are. Okay, so that's three done. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So yeah, there's that, and that's quite nice. Actually, I'm quite chuffed with that. So yeah, part three uh, is next. Once you've got all the holes drilled in, what well, not drilled in, but all the holes punched through, uh, you're ready for part three. So uh, see you guys, and I'll see you again in part three.